2005 on a 55 Volvo S40. This is the uh, 1.6 litre petrol engine. Quickly scan around the outside. You can see it's all one colour silver all the way around. There's no sort of dodgy patchwork quilt of silver, which is personal pet hate on silver cars for me. Um, then we'll have a good look around the bodywork. We'll check the interior out and we'll go for a cold engine starter. It's driven to us this one as well. It's been with us a couple of days. Starts on the button every time. Starting on the driver's front wing, we've got one stone chip just there where it meets the bonnet. But other than that, the rest of the wing is all good. Wheels have got quite a lot of ingrained brake dirt on them, but they do look to be relatively curb free. Decent tire on this front on the front as well. Coming up the A pillar, there's no signs of any stone chips or anything on that. Same with the leading edge of the windscreen. The rest of the roof is all nice and straight. It's not full of ripples or dead or anything like that, excuse me. Nice and clean down the grass on this side. Wing mirror on this side as well, that's all good. Normally these get cracked, but this one's nice and tidy. Little mark just here on the door and another, that's, that one feels like it's on top of the paint. That one's a scratch, but that one feels like it's on top of the paint. Rest of the door all nice and tidy. Rear uh, driver's side door, we've got a little dent just there. Other than that, nothing else to complain about. Clean and tidy inside that arch. Same story on the wheels, a little bit of ingrained dirt, but other than that, all good. I'm gonna look back up this side from here. Coming around on the back, both tail lights are bright and clear. A little scuff on the bumper on this corner here and a little one further down. And then a mark on this side as well. But the rest of the bumper is nice and tidy. There's no scratching really from things getting dragged in and out of the boot. And the boot lid itself is all good. Round on the passenger side, we've got a light scratch just here and there. Um, that one actually feels like it's on top of the paint. That one maybe feels a little bit deeper. Clean tidy around that arch. We've got a small dent just there, but no rust coming through or anything like that. All good coming down this rear passenger door. There's a bit of dirt we've missed there. And the same on the front passenger door. All nice and tidy. All good around the wing mirror. No sign of any stone chips up the A pillar on this side. It's always a good sign. National Trust membership in there as well. All nice and clean on the roof on this side as well. Continuing our way forward. Very light scratch just there on the front wing. And there is a little bit of rust starting on this on the front wing itself. Coming around on the front, the headlights are lovely and clear as well. They're not fogged up or needing polished or anything like that. We do have a bit of a mark just there. Another one just here. A couple of stone chips, but nothing major. The bonnet itself, all nice and straight. Moving into the interior. A little bit of wear on the plastic section on the door card, but other than that, all good. Driver's seat, again, tiny little bit of wear. It's actually just a light sag. Steam clean would actually tighten that right back up. But other than that, really very good. No real wear to note on the steering wheel. It's got um, stereo controls, cruise control. And we've got, what else? We've got air con and heated seats in this one as well. Nice and neat all along the top of the dash. It does have foot mats. The driver's foot mat is worn through a bit. It's worth pointing that out. We'll, uh, we'll pop the, the bonnet while we're here. To the back on the driver's side again nice and tidy on the door card backs of the seats are good rear bench is all nice and the uh headlining is clean as well we will grab the key so i've left it over here and we'll uh have a look in the boot could do with a bit of a hoover but other than that all good in there nice and neat on the carpet set we've got the space saver wheel Lock and wheel nut and the toe eye cover in there as well. Rear passenger side, all good on that door card. Back to the seats on this side are nice. Nothing really to note on the rear pa passenger seats. Again, front passenger side, nice and tidy on the door. They're all good on the seat. There's no funny smells in here, no signs of any trapped moisture. Set the consoles, all nice and neat. 1.6 litre petrol, like I say, it's been with us a few days, starts on the button every time. It's, um, it was driven to us as well. All as you'd expect in there, battery cover and everything's still there, which is always nice. Get that fired up. Fires up on the button. Taking over nice and happy. We'll uh, close that down and go and have a look at the dash for warning lights. Uh, boot lid open, which so we've not shut the boot properly. Driver door open, could do with some screen wash. But there's no, no engine management lights, no warning lights. Over half a tank of petrol as well, which is always good. 
So there you have it, Volvo S40 on a 55 plate. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.